Something that's cool to know about is how computers count. How do you count in binary? Because we use the decimal numbering system, and the decimal numbering system is based on 10. People even say it's a base 10 numbering system. And uh, I like to think that we use the decimal numbering system, base 10, because we have 10 fingers. And so it makes it really easy for us to count with a base of 10. But computers don't use uh, decimals, they use binary. And so the computers use, computers use the binary numbering system, and the binary numbering system is base two. So long, long, long ago, we learned how to count using the decimal numbering system, which is base 10. How would you count using the decimal numbering system, which is base two, where you only have two digits? to count with zero and one as opposed to 10. So this is uh, the binary numbering system and this is how computers actually do math and count and keep track of numbers. They keep track of it in binary. And so this is just kind of like a interesting to know kind of thing. And uh, I'm gonna explain to you the best way that I know, the way that I understand how um, counting binary works. And it's the easiest method I've ever found for understanding it. And to do that, I have my assistant here, my wife, who is going to hold the camera over this piece of paper while I explain it to you so you can kind of see. See what I'm showing. Well, yeah, you can't see what you're showing. So you can kind of see how, how the entire thing works and hopefully we'll catch the page. So if we were to write a number like 123 in decimals, what is going on is we call this the ones place and we call this the tens place, and we call this the hundreds place, right? So we have the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. So 123 using the decimal numbering system, decimal numbering system, uh, 123, you know, we could also think of that as we have one 100, two tens, and three ones. So that's the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. And the way we get these places is that we have base 10 to the power of zero, and anything to the power of zero is one. And then we have base 10 to the power of one, which is 10, so that's the tens place. And then we have base 10 to the power of two, so there's the hundreds place. And this could just keep going out all the way out this way, right? So we have base 10 to the power of three, which be the thousands. And then, adjust the camera just a little. There we go. There we go. And then we have, uh, this would be the thousands, ten thousands. All right. So if I had a number instead of 123, but, you know, 48,123, that would mean I'd have four ten thousand dollar bills if there were such a thing. And I would have eight thousand dollar bills and the one hundred dollar bill and the two ten dollar bills and three one dollar bills so that's uh, that's how the decimal numbering system works how would we do that in binary with the binary numbering system how do we count numbers well it's the exact same way but we're working with base two so here we have two to the zero here we have two to the one here we have two to the two here we have two to the three here we have two to the four and we could keep going out two to the five two to the six two to the seven and uh, what we get is here again is anything to the power of zero, that's the ones place. Anything to the two to the power of one, this is the twos place. Two to the power of two, that's the fours place. This is the eights place. This is the sixteens. And this is the thirty seconds place. And this is the sixty fourths. I'm just going to write 64, and this is the 128, right? So uh, now to figure out, you know, a number, we just put digits down below here. So just like we put digits up here at the decimal numbering system, and we could use any digits between 0 and 9, which is 10 digits, because we have 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, right? There's 10 digits if you include 0, 0 to 9. We could use any of those because we have 10 digits because it's the decimal numbering system. Here, the binary numbering system, we only have 0 or 1, right? So we can only use 0 or 1 to keep track of numbers. So uh, let's say we want to write the number 3. How would we write the number 3? Or let's say we want, we want to write the number 2. 
Uh, okay, so the number two would mean that we would have one, two, and we'd have zero ones, right? So that's how you would write the number two. That's the number two, right? What we think of as the number two in decimal right here, this is how we'd write it in binary, one, two, and zero ones. What if we wanted to write the number three? Well, we'd have one, two, dollar bill, so to speak, and one one dollar bill, right? And that would be equal to the number three in decimal. What if we wanted to write the number 14? Well, with 14, uh, 14 is less than 16, so we don't need a $16 bill, but we'll take one $8 bill, and we'll take one $4 bill, so that's 12, and we'll take one $2 bill, that's 14, and we don't need any of these. So that would be equal to the number 14. So that's how you count in uh, in binary, <laughs> you know. And just to give you one more example, you might play with this and see what kind of uh, what kind of numbers you could create. You know, here it is in decimal. How would you write it in binary? But if we wanted to write a big number like uh, 6d9, let's say 69. Well, give me one 64. And if I had a 30 second that or 30 second, that would take me over. And that would take me over, and an 8 would take me over, right? These are the ones I'm doing here. And 64, I really need a 5. So here, a 4 gets me to 68, and I don't need a 2, but 1, 1 would put me to 69, right? And so that's how I get to the number 69 using binary. All right, so thank you, Jess, for your help. You're welcome. <laughs> hopefully it works. That is how you count in binary. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully it worked. Hopefully you're able to see that page. Because I made this video once before, and I was recording it at an angle, and my hand was in the way. So I enlisted the help of my trusty assistant. All right, it's counting in binary.